I am standing next to our communion table that we have at our church. We've been talking about communion this week and how it is a time of reflection, it is a time of remembrance. But also, this communion table represents a time of unity, a time of coming together. But if you take a look in the Bible at what happened from this point on, this was actually a time where the disciples came together with Jesus and then Judas chose to go on his own way. I say that because for whatever reason, communion can be something that is very divisive within the church. People don't like the way that communion is done. They don't like how the tradition is broken. They don't like that, hey, this is something that we always did, or this is the way we should do it. There's always someone pointing a finger elsewhere. What's interesting is if you take a look at the picture of the Last Supper, you can also see that the men that are there with Jesus, the disciples, one is actually pointing. Other people are having their hands up. One has his hand up and one has his hand down. And it looks like there's conversation that is going on throughout the picture. And basically what this is coming down to is everyone is sharing their opinion or how things should be. And yet in the center of it all is Christ. The center of communion should not be as to how it's done or how often it is done or how often it is not done. It should be about the sacrifice that was made, the loving, caring, life-giving sacrifice that was made. Through it, holding on to the memory of a loving Savior who gave all for you and for me. I want you to think about that tonight. I want you to pray about it. I want you to rest in it, and we'll see you tomorrow.